which historical event would I want to witness firsthand? That's easy. Throughout history, every society has looked at the stars and even closer to the moon and said, wouldn't it be cool to go there? But for hundreds of millennia, it was impossible. But then on July 20th, 1969, man's technological determination and ingenuity allowed for Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin to bunny foo foo on the lunar surface. That's what I'd like to witness firsthand. And I think it'd look a little something like this. I got the keys! I got the keys! <laughs> I would want to witness the Tsar Bomba, the largest detonation in human history. It happened on October 30th, 1960 by the Soviet Union. It was just a test they did in the Arctic Ocean. And boy was it huge. So big that I would probably have to be a safe distance away maybe still wearing a protective suit of some kind to protect me from the radiation. And the more I think about it, I probably would be blinded if I witnessed it firsthand, so assuming I didn't go blind, I would want to watch it. Hey there students, Tom Ritchie here. Now, if I had to pick any historical event to witness, it would have to be the assassination of Julius Caesar, Ides of March, 44 BC. The reason for that being is there are a lot of places where I could go where I might be kind of a spectator. Maybe I'd even be unwelcome or something like that. But in this case, I could be a participant. Imagine that, that all of a sudden you show up there and they're like, hey, he hasn't stabbed yet. Give Richie one. All right. Wah! You know, that sort of thing. Six Semper Tyrannus. Da, da, da. Oh, now you're thinking, oh, that Richie, he's got dark fantasies about killing people. Well, it's been said before that Tom Richie will kill you. I mean, I just kind of like to see the look on Caesar's face when he's like, et tu, Richie? I'm like, wow! Hey there, YouTube. This is Robert with Reading Through History, and I have been asked to answer a question. And that question is, what historical event would I choose to go back in time and witness firsthand if I could? Now, I know this seems sick, in fact it is really sick, but I just couldn't pass up on the opportunity to go back in time and witness Pickett's Charge. Hey, Cypher here. So my pick would be the Battle of Trafalgar. I've always been a big fan of tall ships just broadsiding each other in a movie. It is one of the most viscerally awesome things to see. And the Battle of Trafalgar in 1805 is probably the best example of this, because it was against the navies of the French and Spanish against a smaller force of the United Kingdom led by Horatio Nelson. And Nelson just mopped the floor with these guys. And it's awesome. So I would love to see that. Especially if I was up in a balloon or something along those lines just to see this long line of ships just broadsiding each other. Because there's a whole lot of awesome things in history, but the most spectacular are the big bombastic things. And yeah, Battle of Trafalgar. Hey guys, Cliff here from That Was History, and I think that if I could go back in time and see an event unfold firsthand, the event that I would choose would be one that is a mystery to us still today, kind of like the uh, Lost Roanoke Colony. Basically, this colony was here hundreds and hundreds of years ago in America, kind of in the uh, North Carolina region, and basically we have no record of what ended up happening to this colony. We have some hints here and there, like the word Croatoan, but basically, if it was up to me, I would go and be at that event exactly when it happened, hopefully not involved in the event, but just kind of an overseer of the whole thing. And that way, from now on, we would know exactly where that colony ended up. Did they get killed by some of the natives, or did they assimilate? These are questions we still don't have answers to, but I think that that would be something that would be awesome to find out.